Hello and welcome back to the ADP training video series. This video will be for all of our DORs and managers to show you guys how to set up uh, customized scheduled reports. Before you can set up a scheduled report, you do need to create a customized hyperfined query. So if you have not yet set up your customized hyperfined queries, please refer to the hyperfined video and set up your hyperfined before you set up your scheduled reports. If you already have your hyperfined set up, uh, then you can start on your reports. Do want to show you guys our forms library. So all of the instructions that I go over today and show you guys can be found under our forms library. Here we have the video library and our eTime reference guide for manager. Can open that guy up and see how to schedule a reports for missed punches, meal break violations, and overtime and double time report. So please follow along with those instructions as I go through uh, the steps today. So let's jump right in. We will start at our ADP homepage. First need to go to your time and attendance portal. So under the Myself toolbar, please choose time. Once we are at our time and attendance portal, we will go down to the widget toolbar and choose reports. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up three different reports today. The first thing that we will review is a meal break violation report, then a miss punch report, and an overtime and double time report. Once I show you how to set up those three reports, then I will show you how to schedule the reports because scheduling for each of those reports are, are the exact same steps. So let's first start with our meal break violation report. Over on the left-hand side, here's a menu of all of the different reports that we can select. We will open um, and expand all reports. We will first go down to our exceptions report. Click on exceptions. The exceptions report will be used to generate our meal break violation report and our missed punch report. So let's start with our meal break violations. We first choose people and we want to select the hyperfind, our customized hyperfind that has our desired facilities in them for the report. Our time period will be yesterday. And under absences, we will select none. Whenever we first generate these reports, it selects all options um, to be included in the report. So we are going to remove all with the double back arrow. And for our meal break violation report, we are only looking for two conditions. Now the first one is short break. So we'll select short break and choose the right arrow. Then our other option will be bonus applied. Do the right arrow over. And now both of these conditions are selected to show up in our report. From here, we would choose schedule report and then schedule our report. Before we schedule, I want to show you how to create a, a missed punch report. So we're going to go to the same exceptions, uh, exceptions report. Just like our meal break violations, we are going to choose our desired hyperfined query, choose yesterday, and select none for absences. We'll deselect all of the exceptions uh, conditions. And for missed punches, we are looking for two conditions, missed in punch and missed out punch. Once we have those two selected, then we'll be able to go up and schedule the report. Before we schedule the report, let's take a look at the overtime and double time report. So we will need to choose a different report on the left-hand side for this one. 
we are going to choose employee hours by labor account. We're going to select our desired hyperfined query yesterday as the time period. Then we are going uh, to choose show hours worked in this period only. We're going to deselect all of the conditions. And we're going to select four conditions this time. The first one is overtime. Second one is double time. And we're going to do travel over time and travel double time. So once we have all of the conditions for our report set, uh, we can finally schedule our report. So now we will schedule the overtime and double time report. Go up to the top, click schedule report. And there's going to be three sections to schedule your reports. The first section will be a name. So here I encourage you to name this report however you will uh, best recognize it. In the end, this report's name will show up in the email that gets sent to you every single day. So I'm going to do daily overtime and double time report. Then we have to choose our event output. So how is it going to be sent to us? So we will enter our email in event output. Then we need to actually schedule the time and um, consistency of the report. So the schedule type will be daily. This report will be sent to us every single day. So the number of days in between runs will be one. And then we have to set our start date. So it's the afternoon here for me. So I wanna start getting these reports in the morning. So I'm going to choose um, tomorrow and I want to get these reports right as I'm getting up so 6 a.m. and then I can click save if we do ever want to um, edit the reports that we're getting or delete them we can go up to our workspaces toolbar in the top right hand corner click general maintenance from there, we will select Event Manager. And here you'll be able to see any of the reports that you have already scheduled. You can click on it and duplicate it, edit it, uh, run it, disable, or delete it. If you have any additional questions regarding these uh, customized scheduled reports, feel free to reach out to David in the payroll department you can also reach out to your respective regional mentor or regional VPO. Thank you and have a good day.